Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review. I don't really do these on my channel, like ever, like an actual proper, like proper product review, like a makeup product or anything. Um, the only reason I decided to do this one is because it's a concealer. And if you know me and you've been on my channel for a while, you know that concealers are like my favourite. I love concealer. It's honestly one of my favourite products. Like I would 100% choose over foundation. I just love concealer so much. Let's try it out and see my first impressions. So I'm talking about the new Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I was lucky enough to actually receive this as a PR package, so I've got every single shade, which is freaking amazing. Thank you so much, Huda, for sending these to me. Um, so they look like this. Um, they come in 20 shades. So the shade I used for concealer and brightening my face was Cookie Dough. Don't know if I kind of just wanted to choose cookie dough because I freaking love cookie dough. And the one for contour was butterscotch. Which I feel like worked really well, but I could maybe go a little bit lighter because it was quite dark. Which I was quite shocked at because I didn't think it was going to be as dark. But it was quite dark, but it was fine. I have obviously filmed a demo of me applying these and I've done half my face first so you can see the difference. Obviously you know what the difference is when you wear a concealer, but I just wanted to show you the difference with just foundation and then with the concealer and contour. Also just to show you like an updated concealer and contour routine um, to incorporate that into this video so you can see how I do it. Um, they come with like, the applicator is like a metal, I think it's metal, and it looks like this, so it's like a... Um, Almost like what I'd imagine you find on like an eye cream and it's meant to give you like a cooling effect as you apply it with this, which it totally did. I felt like the concealer itself even had a cooling effect, but obviously this does as well. Coverage is great, really great coverage in my opinion, like really good coverage. As I said, I do feel like you have to squeeze quite enough product out to get it to look solid when you first apply it but to be honest I kind of just feel like when you're doing this type of video you obviously want it to be very obvious and try and make it look a little bit neater when you're doing your application I feel like to be honest in when I'm using this in real life which I 100% will be because I really liked the finish of it and the way it blended out and everything like that but I will probably I really like doing this anyway. Where the hell is the brush gone? Ah, there it is. So it came in the PR package. It also came with this brush, which I used in the demo. Um, I actually really like applying um, concealer with a brush because I feel like you can be a lot more precise and you don't have to use as much product. So I would probably use this end and just get it off of here and apply it, you know? I really, really liked the cooling effect of it though. So I think just if I was using it in real life, I would just do more like one cooling swipe underneath my eye like so literally just so if it wasn't for aesthetics purposes and stuff I would literally just be like swipe and then I'd blend it down rather than putting it down as well because it's just too much product you don't need that much product because it's, it's good coverage and it blends out a lot so you really don't need that much of it like I definitely used too much for this tutorial in my opinion um the shade range is really really great there's like, as I said, 20 shades. And I do feel like they have a good, if you look, I mean, it's quite hard to see with the lights are on it, but it has got a good range of tones in here as well, as you can see, hopefully that you can see that on the camera. Um, I am gonna do some swatches for you of the shade that I decided to use next to the shades I usually use. So I'm gonna compare it to the ones that I use most, compare the shades, then you might get a better idea of what shade you wanna order for yourself. So I'll insert that now. Okay, so I'm going to be comparing the Huda Beauty with the Too Faced Born This Way, the Tarte Shape Tape, the KKW Beauty and the Maybelline Fit Me. Starting off with the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, the shade I like best in this is Golden Beige. I'm comparing it with Huda Beauty Cookie Dough as this is the one I used in the demo that you will see in a second. So this is these two swatched next to each other. Next up, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use the shade Light Medium. So this is this next to Cookie Dough from Huda Beauty. 
Next up, I'm taking the KKW Beauty in shade number 6 next to the same cookie dough. And then finally, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 10. Uh, next to cookie dough. As you can see, this one is way sheerer. I don't know if that's a word, but it's much sheerer than the rest have been. Like, the others are way more full coverage. And I've also noticed that I should have chosen a more golden yellow undertone concealer for my shade in Huda Beauty after swatching these. So, this is four of the shades I picked out, which I think would be best suited for me. So, I swatched them all next to each other. So, going from right to left as I swatch, we have cookie dough. And then we have sugar biscuit. And then we have granola, and then we have, oh here we go, cookie dough, sugar biscuit, granola, and then the last one is nugget, or nougat, nougat, nugget, I don't know how you say that word babe, I, I just don't know, but that's what we have. So then I swatched all those concealers we just did, next to all four of those shades that would be most suited to me. To be honest, I don't feel like I found my perfect shade. I feel like I really like the tones of Nougat, but it's too light for me, so I'd potentially mix two together. But hopefully you can see from this a good example of shades. And then let's just jump straight into the demo of me using the product so you can see the before and the after result, how it blends out, the finish of it before I've set everything with powder and stuff. I was waiting for you to watch it, so I read the leaflet. Um, 
So it says it's packed with 31% pure pigment, but it's also got some skincare like benefits to it as well, which there's quite a lot. And one of them is green tea, which I know is really good. And the other one's gen, something I can't say, rose extract. I love anything with rose in it. So it's not only a concealer, but it also soothes and protects your under eye delicate area, which I think is really good. Um, and it does say it is high coverage as well, which I do agree with. I do think it is pretty full coverage in my opinion. I feel like most concealers are, unless they're claiming to be like a super, super natural skin like look that doesn't cover that much. Like a concealer to me is a concealer. It should conceal, it should be high coverage. A concealer should be high coverage. So final verdict, I really, really love these. I'm 100% going to be using them. I really like the shade. I really like the way it looks right now. Bearing in mind this has been on now only for probably maybe half an hour-ish. So not long, but if I look up close, it looks really good. Like it's it's not like creased. Obviously, bear in mind, obviously I did set it. You definitely have to set it, but it still hasn't creased. It looks super smooth and super full coverage. Like, I think it looks really freaking good, right? Yeah, I really, really like this. I also use the um, Huda Beauty, is it the, is this the bronze one? Bronze Sands one? Oh, yeah, Bronze Sands. The highlighter quad thing, 3D highlighter palette. I haven't used it in ages. Really nice. Like this is all I have else, well, you obviously saw in the demo, but this is the only bronzer, blush and highlight I have on, and I think it looks really, really nice. Quite, quite like, quite glam for me. Like I don't, you know me. I don't usually go this hard. I'm usually a more like subtle. But for a night out, I think this looks pretty damn good. So that is everything for this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you do want more reviews on specific, specific, specific products because I'm more than happy to do them. I just never really know if you guys want them. But to me, this one I just wanted to, to try out anyway. And I thought, well, I'm going to do my makeup. So why don't I just try it with you guys, you know? Yeah, that is the end of this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.